Hi everyone, welcome to the MD analysis tutorials. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to extract information from the PDB files and perform some statistical analysis and put the data back into PDB for further analysis or uh, structural visualization. And as an example for that, I will extract the beta factor column from the PDB and normalize it by uh, Z scores and put it back into PDB. And the reason for that is if you normalize the beta factors, you know, the beta factors give you an idea of the how flexible is uh, your protein. So the one that has high temperature factor or high beta factor will be more flexible. So, and this is very uh, common visualization method in protein, uh, protein science. Uh, so, but if you want to compare two different proteins, which are, which were crystallized in two different conditions. So to be able to compare every part of the protein to the mean values of, of beta factor of each structure, it's better to normalize it by Z-scores. And that score, you can Google it. Here's a quick definition from Code Academy. It tells you how a data point or how uh, it's far from the mean, how many standard deviation it's far from the mean. So if this is my value and then I, I, I subtract the, the mean from it and divide it by standard deviation, it will tell me how many standard deviation I'm far from the mean. So then you can compare because you are comparing the same. In the protein A, you are comparing like this uh, domain or this uh, amino acid is five standard deviation uh, higher than the mean beta factors. But in the other protein, it's three uh, standard deviation uh, away from the mean. So now we can, it's it's a better way to compare. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't normalize it, you don't know uh, what is the um, the mean of each structure. I hope I made it clear. But this is just a special special case for me. But uh, the aim of the video is just to show you how to extract and write coordinates. So to do that, we will go to Jupiter and. What we need to import is our MD analysis package and NumPy to do some the Z score calculation and some extra stuff you may know you may not you may not need it, but I just always copy and paste from my previous script. But we just need this. So the first thing is we will we will create a universe or a variable called U and load our structure using the function mdanalysis.universe, which in which we store the coordinates of our system. So I have a protein here, 1q0.pdb, okay? So this is our universe in the script. And in MD analysis, all the atom groups, all the atom informations are stored in uh, function u.atom. So you can get the occupancy, you can get the coordinates, you can get the temperature factors. So uh, we will use that. So let's run the first, okay, and load our structure. This is not a code. So then I will create uh, a variable called beta factors and um, using this function u.atoms.temp factor. But if you write here occupancy, if you write here coordinates or whatever, you can extract it. But I'm interested in extracting uh, the, uh, the temperature factor. But let's check if you come here and hit tab will tell you what can what stuff you can extract from by using this function okay so scroll down you find a lot of stuff you can get the masses you can get the occupancies okay you can get the res id res names or whatever but i'm interested in temp factors or temperature factors or beta factors okay so now i extracted this data as an array because and that's the good thing so you can use it easily with numpy because numpy is a library that handles arrays for statistical analysis if i write if i see what is beta factor let's ask so it's an array of data this is the values okay if i go back to my protein and let's check it by any text editor i'll go down here yeah so it's the occupancy this is the the the, the beta factor or temperature factor okay so we need to normalize it by zeta scores. So I will create a variable called zeta scores and I will use stat to zeta scores, which is pandas function. And I will ask it to calculate the zeta scores for that array of data, which is beta factor. Yeah, very simple. 
Okay, so now we need to override these new values back into PDB. So we will use the same function that we extracted temperature factors to assign these values as the new value. So we'll say u.atoms to temperature factor equal to what? To our z scores. Okay. So now we put it back, but we need to save a new structure that has uh, our updated beta factor or our normalized beta factor. So I will create a variable called protein. And from my universe that I updated, I will select atoms all. Uh, why did I choose all? Because I have only protein. But if you have a system with a solvent, you can only say protein. You can say protein and name C alpha. But since I'm having only protein, so I need only, uh, I can say all. Okay. So this command will extract all the atoms from my uh, universe, updated ones. Then we will use the function to try to write coordinates files using the selection. So for protein.write, I will write protein.pdb. So let's run it. Yeah, it works. So let's check, go and check the, the new protein.pdb and compare it to uh, the previous file. So this is the new file. And you will find that I think we need to run to run it I think I need to run it again from here maybe I missed something yeah let's check again reload yeah now it works because uh, you know, while explaining, I skipped, you know, this uh, commands and I came to write directly, so I didn't update anything. So thanks God this didn't happen because I would need to re-record the whole video again. So now it works because uh, you see here that the, 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 the beta factors are updated. For example, this atom is very flexible. I know from my studies because the N terminal is very flexible in that protein. In the, in the X-ray structure, it is for standard deviation away from the mean okay so for example this is not very far it's just 0.16 this is blue um, the mean because it's negative and so on that was a special case for me you can do a lot of statistical analysis but the point is i mean i really like this because you can extract stuff as an array and we have very efficient libraries that can deal with arrays and then with MD analysis, you can put it back and it will be a really nice visualization. Uh, that, that was for today. Uh, I was planning to start an MD analysis tutorial from the scratch. We had a video about pairwise RMSD and now we have some extraction tutorial, but I will start from scratch as we did in Inditraj, like RMSD, RMSF uh, and SASA, because I really like or started to like MD analysis more than before. So thank you for listening and I'd like to sum up again quickly before I go. So we import the libraries we need and we create a universe that's kind of loading our structure and then we create a variable and we extract the temperature factor and we assign it to this va uh, uh, variable and then we create another variable and then we use this function to calculate the z-score for the previous variable and then we override the temperature factor by this uh, uh, Z scores and then we write the coordinates and choose all select and then write so that's for today and if you have easier way to do it than this so don't hesitate to write that in the comments and see you in another video